For the emperor, for the emperor, what is this video? I don't know. I don't know! Who is this guy? We'll find out. The Raven! Wait a minute. Is this Sanguinius uh, thingy? No. Wait, Raven guy. There's a Raven guy. Maybe not Sanguinius. I actually don't know. It's Raven and there's blood on it. Hmm? Red guy. For the Emperor. Let's see what this is. This better be good. Blood ravens. Okay, they're blood ravens. This better be good. Blood ravens, sanguineous? <gasps> yes. My brain remembers. I came here to do two things and two things only. Purge heretics and steal property. And oh. I already stole your property. So let's do this. Face Sheesh. your heresy. Oh. Please, you're a heresy. Welcome to the grim darkness of the future, where fun isn't allowed, happiness is banned, uh, peace doesn't exist, what? and Number there's fun. only war. Abandon reason! No, only war! In this war, it's us versus them. Us being the Imperium of Man, led by the almighty Emperor himself. There is no shelter for those who oppose the Imperium of Man. And Dark them being mind. anybody that isn't us. Who's this guy? Sake is Moonhead. That's cute. Is he holding a gun or is he holding his peepee? -pee? Don't answer that. Simplicity, <laughs> we'll just call them Xenos. Xenos. And what's the only thing defending us from them, you might ask? Space Marines! <laughs> Hello, the ship, Space Marines! Space Marines! Space Marines! Genetically oh, yeah, modified, just like the vegetables the at the hammer? grocery store, only instead of staying ripe for long periods of time, they're crafted by the Emperor to purge heretics. Yeah! Oh! Die! We're talking two hearts. We're talking three lungs. We're talking three night lungs. vision. We're talking eight foot tall, 800 pound monsters that look like Hulk Hogan ate Boogie 2988 and covered himself in a steel suit of armor the size of a Range Rover. We are the bringers of death! Think of them as religion fueled death machines hell bent on exterminating any race that isn't human while also not <laughs> being perfect. racist. Racist? Space Marines aren't racist. We love. Who's this guy? We love worries. No, no, no. I, I want to talk about something. Wow, where was that? I saw it. Covered himself in a steel suit of armor the size of a Range Rover. We are the oh my God. Of There we go. There we go. That was cool. The the chainsaw. That's what I was trying to point out. It doesn't want to pause there. Anyway, the man has religion fueled death machines hell bent on exterminating any race that isn't human while also not being racist. Racist? Space Marines aren't racist. We love all races. As long as they don't have green skin. Yeah. Green bolt gun! Or, you know, belong to a different religion. <laughs> Oh I don't know why anyone would call us racist. I'm a black priest for Emperor's sake. <laughs> and gods may die! We don't hate any races, except orcs, and Eldar, and Dark Eldar, uh -huh. and Necrons, and uh -huh. Tau, because nobody likes dumbass weeaboo space communists, <laughs> but at least they are trying to eat us like the Tyranids. Glossing over all that lore Jesus that you don't Christ. need to understand, one such the chapter of space marines are the Ultra Marines, or if we're being honest, Ultra Smurfs, that are charged with exterminating the Smurfs. orcs on one of your manufacturing planets that are stealing your shit. Oh. Damned orcs. How important my is shit? this shit that they're stealing, you might ask? Strategic value, absolute. So, I'm... I'm guessing that's pretty important then. Strategic value absolute. That doesn't make things any clearer for the audience. Strategic value absolute. You occupy the role of Captain <laughs> Titus, a <laughs> soft-spoken junior mean? officer voiced by the legendary Mark Strong that's joined by an OG sergeant and a Mark turbo Strong? nerd subordinate Sheesh. named Leandro last name? that constantly hounds you about not following a dipshit rule book called a codex. Is that wise, Captain? The codex is the worst Shut the fuck up, Leandro. For the Emperor! To be perfectly Whee! clear, I beat the entire game once in its default state and had so much of a blast, I beat it again immediately afterwards, only with mods out the oh. ass. So instead of playing as a calm and collected Crypt Marine... That's why he's red. Oh. I played as a Blood Marine, which, if I'm being honest, was a slightly different experience. Die, scum! No prisoners! Why this beat me so loud. So 
if you're about to write this video off as heresy or confusing, I understand. I just grew up playing an RTS called Dawn of War and would rather play as a Blood Raven than an Ultramarine Smurf Blueberry. None of this is really important unless they're purging and also, spoiler alert, transitions are weird. The orcs invading your planet and trying to steal your huge ass Titan tank are a super diverse bunch, ranging from puny little orc children Titan. that shouldn't even exist. Hey, get back here. Don't run away from me. Why do oh, you even exist? He's running. Oh, oh he's running. Come on. Come on. Yeah. All the way up to the orc war boss Grimskull himself, who was basically Shrek in his final form. You try to steal my giant? Yeah, like Shrek. Steal my loot? I'll rip your guts right out of your throat. Get out of my job. Equally as diverse are the weapons at your disposal to eradicate them with, from a dinky bolter pistol all the way to a heavy bolter, because when it comes to orcs, the caliber you're firing can never be too high. I'm gonna need a heavy bolter. Wait a minute. I thought we're watching somebody explain what the Space Marines are. I thought oh, this is a game review. <laughs> I guess somebody did say it's a game review. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting. Oh my god. I thought he was gonna explain the uh, the, the Space Marines to me. Hmm. I guess he's kinda explaining it. This heresy. The quickest way to purge All through right. scores of orcs? Melee. Getting up close and personal is not only the fastest way to cut through a horde of orcs with single, double, and triple You're making me combos, watch a game review? Or not, it's how space marines heal. Yeah, that's right. These guys are so draconian. This is $60, they don't need to pick up okay? This is $60. Because the enemies I'm not buying are the health kits. I'll watch the review, though. Just crump some poor orc, mash your stun key until an orange skull pops up and execute his ass for a speedy and convenient health boost. Die, heretics! Yum. Your melee weapon of choice is a trade-off between speed and damage. Like the chainsword is agile and great for cutting chainsword. things, chainsword while you're so also old, simultaneously already cutting things, but That's it's less cool. potent against heavy armor. I am cutting things even though I was already cutting things. On the other hand, or rather with both hands, the thunder hammer handles as awkwardly as a bus, but it also show? hits like a bus, running bar. a stop sign in a school zone. Hey yo, orc, are you Elon That's Musk? That's a horseshoe bar your ass into outer and you've got a power axe in between those two extremes. And I can't explain why, but it feels like you're competing in a figure skating slash rhythmic gymnastics competition when you use it. And I'm oddly okay with that. If you want to get fancy, you can melee three times and mash stun to curb stun multiple enemies and choke slam any motherfucker still standing. So it's safe to say that when it comes to this move, the Emperor most definitely does approve. I said, I think I stunned too hard. I'm stuck in the terrain. Brother, brother, I'm stuck in the terrain. Oh no. Where's Captain Diomedes when you need him? Oh, you know, he's stuck. Brother! Brother, I am pinned here! Eventually, you'll realize you can't just slice your way through- Brother, I am pinned here! Brother, I am pinned here! Oh my god. It's such a manly way of saying, like, Step brother, I'm stuck. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Does he really say that? <laughs> That's so dumb. Oh no! <laughs> brother, I am pinned here. <laughs> Let's just watch that part again. I like that one. I know that's a that's a good one. <laughs> brother. Brother, I am stuck in the terrain. <laughs> Where's Captain Diomedes when you so need right him? Not to be needy. Brother. Brother. Brother, I am pinned here. Eventually, <laughs> you'll realize you can't just slice your way through the game. Oh my God, I'm <laughs> Chaos Marines so are a pedantic dumb. piece of shit leader meme rock. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ah! Oh, I did it. Noise! I cannot, do cannot defeat me! And you'll need to start firing guns if you want to survive. <laughs> or more specifically, bolters. Do. Bolters, brothers! If you call this thing an assault rifle, I'm gonna break your arm. Because it may be used like brother. an assault rifle, only instead of firing a 223 the size of a crayon or a 308 the size of your finger, it fires a 9 Oh no, brother, I'm being. <laughs> Should actually be a so brother, cal, to the lore. That's essentially like firing a self-propelled can of Red Bull that explodes after penetrating its target, making it almost into an assault rifle RPG hybrid. How many fucking robots does this place have? Are we invading an Imperium outpost or an Amazon headquarters? I should have never canceled my prime. Oh my you God. have downward variants and upward variants, like the Bolter <laughs> pistol, in case you've got something heavy in your hands. And my personal favorite, get over the that. Stalker Bolter, which is the most satisfying sniper rifle I've ever had the privilege of using. Just like Sesame Street, you ready? And one, and two, and not three, not four, five. I'm really glad that all the orcs saw that are about to be burned, because that was embarrassing. <laughs> that if was you embarrassing. absolutely, no, no. positively have to expend as many rounds as possible, the Storm Bolter does exist, which is like a double-barreled LMG that's cool for the first five minutes that you use it. The rate of fire of the Storm Bolter? Perfection. The accuracy <laughs> of the Storm Bolter? Yeah, just put them anywhere that's remotely close to a target. I don't really give a shit. But better alternatives do exist because the game gives you four slots consisting of a primary, secondary, long range, and oh, oh, fuck, you're way too oh. Oh. I kept the standard bolter and stalker oh, bolter throughout that? most of the game because sometimes one bolter just isn't enough to stop a horde of orcs trying to crump your ass into outer space. I'm gonna okay. get two bolters for this heresy. But once I started fighting the forces of chaos, <laughs> I dropped bothered, the stalker for the anything? last cannon. Or or laser cannon, aka the Space Marine Spartan laser that was. Dude, I don't think they really say that in the game, no? He just added that. He just dubbed over the. Uh, the footage. Hmm, no way they say that in the game. Brother Ryan Paint here. Mm. Clearly superior, because here's me killing a Chaos Marine with a bolter. Oh. Stop. Stop dealing that much damage, eh? The Emperor. I was starting to think he was invincible there for a second. And here's me doing the same deed with a Laz Cannon slash Laz Cannon. By the Emperor, Whoa. that's powerful. For your heavy slot, Flash it's happens. all about the Vengeance Launcher, which fires sticky nades that you can personally detonate, because who wants to launch rockets when you, you know can launch would Vengeance? You know what would make me really play this? If there's, that like, multiplayer promising. options. Even a flame-bursting shotgun exists. If there's but multiplayer, all of these specialized I, weapons I rip through this. ammo at an incredible pace, so honing your bolter skills is the way to go. Navigating the levels is obviously done by either running or rolling. Don't ask me how the hell these characters roll in this much armor it's a long story <laughs> but channeling your inner dark souls character to kite enemies or get to objectives faster is a significant portion of your playthrough it's even useful in boss they fights roll. because who needs to kill orcs when you can just roll out of the way and have orcs kill themselves here he comes here he comes here he oh. oh baby how does it feel like a crump by a member of your own Race. On that note, there are even these little Mike Wazowski looking dudes called squigs oh, that explode on impact and are arguably better at killing orcs than you are. So this theme of orcs killing themselves is not a new phenomenon. Come on, squig merch. Merge into the group. Get in there. Get in there. Yeah. But as I was saying, you won't always be running or rolling through the terrain because eventually you'll gain access to a jump pack, which when combined jump with pack. a thunder hammer is like an NBA dunk contest mixed with Super Smash Brothers. Outside of LeBron, five seconds left. LeBron leaps. Oh, Whoa. LeBron James with a complete oh disregard God. for life. Yeah, 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 this jump pack also happens bonging. to be wonderful at getting you places in record time. The it's almost like using unbridled rage as a mode of transportation. I fucking love my commute. And now that you know what you're swinging, shooting, and zooming around with, there's one thing that enhances everything. And that's called Fury. If being a space Fury. marine wasn't already super soldier enough, you can channel Fury, which builds up as you purge heretics oh, and well, it's the, deliver it's the merciless Harshall. justice upon the enemies of humanity. That means your health surges. That it's means it's you the hit hard. That means it's you turn Fury. 30 seconds of hacking and slashing into a 10-second nightmare for any enemies in your general vicinity, punctuated with
with curb stomps that are extra earth trembling. Oh, that never gets old. This fury becomes more and more powerful as the game goes on and there's even a marksman mode. So if you ever wanted to enter a slow motion bullet time mode as a badass space marine, here's your shot. <laughs> of the game that I love more than the combat, movement, and gear are the objectives. I'm pretty sure every objective in the game is either three words or four words, and that's the way it should be. Those guardsmen cannot survive that long. We find a way to destroy the gun. <laughs> so you may be able to criticize some stretches of the game the for being just Check running that. and rolling between elevators. Hey look, I'm on a lift. Does anybody know if repeatedly rolling or sprinting is faster? I've been at this 200 years, I still don't know. Hey look, a lift! <laughs> But it focuses on what it's good at, which is violent purging and eradicating any life form that doesn't look like you. Ah, stop resisting! You know what? He makes it look really good because of that uh, mod. The, the 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 red armor and the chain sword looks really good. You know, I like it. I like I, I like the red armor. Arm that doesn't look like you. Ah, resisting. I want a bit different. I'm gonna keep it real with you, Chief. I would say sorry for hitting you so hard that the game glitched, but I don't apologize to Xenos. The story isn't all that important, seeing as the game only takes five to six hours to beat, and the best character is Orc Warboss oh, Grimskull, shit. because he's the only character that doesn't put me to sleep with her monologuing. <laughs> That's his monologue. <laughs> Wah! <laughs> Not that my second playthrough was any better because with all the mods I was running, none of the story made any sense. Second Lieutenant Mira, 203rd Cadian Regiment. It is the Bane Blade! You are Bane Blade? I'm all that's left, my lord. Like a Bane Blade? Damn gun. We don't have the numbers to make an assault, and as you might have seen, it's shooting down all our support vessels. Engaging warp spider! Ah! A warp me, spider! But at least you get to hook up with some blood ravens <laughs> to cleanse an entire bridge in the end sequence, and given their history of kleptomania, I'm shocked they didn't steal anything. Hippity hoppity, where the fuck is my property? You're gonna hit the final boss fight with me, Rob, oh, who's obsessed with demon, becoming but... ascended for reasons that I won't spoil, but I- Zoom in and hands. Oh, look at that. Ooh, look at that. Oh my goodness. Again, this game is about the gameplay, not about the story. Damn it, I had something for this. Uh, something, something. Crack the oh, no, It's not me about there. the plotting, it's about the purging. Yeah, I like the viewing. End. <laughs> I would like to try the game, but I'm not buying that shit. Hmm. You, you, you guys can remind me when it the, goes back to sale. Seven dollars. Mm, hopefully. M maybe if it goes uh, down to seven dollars, I will play it. I play it on stream. Sure. <laughs> uh, the mod is nice though. Brother, I am pained. I wish he says that in the game. <laughs> uh, yeah yeah remind me to to get it when it's on sale because i will forget about it it's cheap on steam no it's not cheap on steam right now second installment must go out first yeah, they're probably gonna um, put it on sale when the second uh, Space Marine comes out. Probably in September, though, right? <laughs> September! Okay, okay. Good game, good review, I like it. Very energetic, I like it. Like and subscribe!